Oh, that's the first time I've done that in a long time. I was muted. Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Uh, welcome to the Blood and Wine DLC. Welcome to the Warble of a Smitten Knight, the quest that we're working on. Uh, we're chasing a bird, a yellow bird. Um, and then we had to meditate because we were too busy uh, beating all these monsters' asses. And because of that, we technically lost the trail of the bird. But it tells me to go this way. Wait until midnight, find the glade in the woods. It also now says follow the bird. So maybe I do get the bird back? Pro's eye. All right, let's do it. Uh, in recent episodes, we have been competing in the tournament, helping out Guillaume. Oh, birdie. Oh, birdie. Now we're chasing down Vivian. Oh, snap. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh shit. She's anamorphed. She's half, half bird, half human Witcher. right now. Lady Vivian. Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. Burn! I was mistaken. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? Lady you are a witcher, I only kill monsters. You were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Oh. Oh. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? That's showing a lot of belly button, first off. Uh... I don't know what she is. This quest is beautiful. Holy shit. Uh, I don't know yet is probably the honest answer. Definitely affected by a curse. Can't you tell me? Why should I guess when you could tell me yourself? If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? Love, Lady he Vivian. wanted to help you asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. I don't know about anyone. Uh... Here's my question. What if I can't save you? Wouldn't you still want to give Guillaume the chance to love you as you are? I swear on the heron, I still don't know what this means. Oh, and I don't like not knowing what one of my dialogue option means. This is technically true. You have nothing to fear. I think this is the right option. I swear on the heron might eventually stop me from telling someone who needs to be be told you have nothing to fear is definitely true and this sounds a little wishy-washy so i'm gonna say you have nothing to fear you got nothing to fear came here to help you and i won't peep a word to anyone unless i decide it's absolutely necessary ah uh, so be it i shall tell you what my mama once told me this is so magical when she was with child expecting me she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. Orioles. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. 
the law of surprise, which, thanks to some commenters, I finally understand a little bit better. Uh, thank you for the comments uh, recently, uh, guys. Uh, just kidding. I don't think this is actually the law of surprise. That's a Witcher thing, but... It's sort of a law of surprise if you think about it. What did the creature look like? Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young. Too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened to your parents? Are they, uh, are they okay? What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. You know what it is? But now it's advanced so that even in daytime, I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus, I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. It's the most, it looks like the most convincing and most beautiful. Uh. Uh, shit, what's the Shakespeare play? Fuck! Uh ah! I'm inside number I'm in the I'm in summer night stream. Jesus Christ, I couldn't believe I couldn't think of it. Uh <laughs> I had a big brain fart. It looks like the most convincing Midsummer Night's Dream uh costume. Here's the other thing. Uh I find Vivian very compelling. Like man. It's just so, tr so, it's not actually, it's one of those things where Vivian seems tragic, but I, from the outside, and maybe, and maybe Geralt, think of it as like, maybe less, maybe it's less tragic than you think, Lady Vivian. Um, for instance, I have to know, what does it feel like to fly? What's it feel like to fly? Tell me, is it incredible? Here's the other thing. Uh... In a, this is a very like wishy-washy, uh, <laughs> positive outlooks on life or all that matters kind of feeling. But like, if you were resigned to death and coming here, if you've believed this whole time that you were being hunted when you weren't, if you've believed this whole time that uh, your death was right around the corner when it wasn't, you kind of have nowhere to go from here except for up, right? Like, no, not only are you not dying today. Hopefully we can cure you, and if not, maybe we can still find you some love. Magic illusions can be dangerous. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. Interesting. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. I can try and lift it. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron, transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case, yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. I need to meet this nymph. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. This is beautiful. You're quick to reject help. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on a new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. Principled. Lady Vivian, I love you. You're incredible. All right. There is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as-yet-unhatched chick. You'd be free. 
thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. What? Seven years. How does she know what the average lifespan of an Oriole is? Unless every rose has its thorn, <laughs> and there are no happy endings. <laughs> the truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die. Yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Sorry about that. Somebody came to the door. Gave me a dogs gave me a heart attack. <sighs> okay. So uh, what I was gonna say about this last piece piece of dialogue is it is kind of uh, funny to me that Lady Vivian uses those cliches, those two cliches back to back. Every rose has its thorn. All good things must come to an end. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, it makes me think about like the type of tale that we're telling. In some genres, cliche has more weight than in others. And one of the genres where it has more weight or it's, it's more permissible is the sort of like fantastical tragedy that this quest is. Uh, anyways, so, uh, like that would feel really out of place in a like dirty contemporary, dirty is the wrong word, but like a, a, a gritty contemporary play, for instance, or uh, contemporary literature. Um, okay. I think I'll stay here. I kind of want to stay here and explore and see if I can find the nymph. Here's the other thing. Oh, man. I'll stay here. Think I'll stay here a little longer. I hope there's another option. As you wish. Then I shall see you on the morrow. Then Lady Vivian just living seven years. Because then this is truly a tragic quest if... Potentially Vivian and uh, Guillaume fall in love. Maybe they won't, right? Who knows? But what if they fall in love only to uh, only to have seven years together? It's not a small amount, but it's goddamn shorter than I'd like it to be. Okay, we're gonna run around a little bit here. What is this? Why are you red? Is there another boar? Oh my god, there's more boars. Hey. Come here. Die. Die, motherfucker. Come here. Okay, we're fighting a boar for a random reason. I just got thrown. For a random reason, I just want to look around as much as possible. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Okay, alright, alright. Everybody chill. Oh my god, we're straight back into it in terms of. Ah, oh, I thought I got around that. Eee. The charges hurt so much. Oh, God, we're going to die. All right, we have to run. Oh, Jesus, there's another. Oh, no. Oh, God. The boars and the wargs together. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Okay. Well... Uh, let's go into the water. Maybe there's something in the water. There does not appear to be anything in the water. I don't know why I'm like so adamant that we stay here and test stuff out. I just feel like I really want there to be a better solution for Lady Vivian. All right, we'll head home. By home, I mean to the tournament grounds. Um, and we'll speak with Guillaume inside of the tent. I wonder how Guillaume is going to react. We don't know. Don't know at all, but... 
My guess is the way that this quest has been written so far and the like, again, like the genre of it mostly is like that uh, Yum's just going to like stay ravenously in love with her even when he finds out this information. Just a guess. All right, we're going the long way around here, Geralt. What are we doing over all these bridges? A, uh, a bridge tour of, of Toussaint? Hats off to the art for, uh, hats off to the art for Vivian, though. That was incredible. Man. Come on, Roach. I loved it. All right, Roach. It's just a bridge made of shitty planks. Literally, we're just going on a bridge tour. All right, all right, all right. You got this? I believe in you. Yep, there you go. Oh my Lanta, are we just, I'm lost. I believe in the quest marker's ability to take me. Okay, we made it. <laughs> and the quest marker's ability to bring me back, but. One person out here sweeping. All right, we're gonna go to our tent, but first. Servant, what are you doing out here? Service master. Sir Milton de Perak Perrin murdered. <laughs> Go to sleep, dude. It's one in the morning. All right, we have not really I had. My tent. Should look around for the one with my crest. Blue bridge on a black field. Three red diamonds on a white one. We haven't really had a chance to walk around the uh, tournament field. No brawls. Since we have a. Uh, since we have started. So, if we see an opportunity to, oh my God, everyone's favorite character. And it's right outside my tent. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Let's speak with Kim. Actually, real quick. Oh my God, this lady, this lady. Real quick, let's just walk around. Why are these, oh, okay. In accordance with Article 161, uh, Law, Loth, Son of Mark, alias Halfbreed. We've read that before. I just realized. We heft off my hand and we have a blacksmith. Cry, I pound steel and watch sparks fly. We're looting a little bit. Oh, this is what I'm looking for, though. Your fellow Gwent lovers, allow me to pre present myself, Count Monier. Okay. Same piece of paper. Or a slightly different variation. But I think that's the exact same piece of paper. All right, let's speak with Guillaume. Guillaume has been waiting very patiently for lo for news of his lady Vivian. Let's talk. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Lots. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. Hmm. Okay. Uh, my mind is running through best and worst case scenarios for both options. Hmm. I tell him. Best case scenario, he loves her in some way, would do anything for her in some way helps uh, uh, lift the curse. Worst case scenario, I tell him. He has some weird superstitious belief in... Weird superstitious belief slash fear of monsters slash honor code that leads to publicly shaming her and or killing her? Uh, I don't tell. Best case scenario... Uh, I respect Lady Vivian's wishes. He somehow finds out anyways, maybe after we've cursed, or they fall in love after we've relieved the curse, whatever. Worst case scenario, I don't tell him. We don't get the help that we need. It helps her out. Maybe, maybe Guillaume is the key. I can always reload, but I'm going to try and tell him. We were both right, actually. Which kind of goes curse. against my guts, but... One that's transforming Vivian into a bird. Her condition's getting worse. Gods! 
A curse that is a worse affliction than disease. What now? Can you help her? Yom, what That'll kind of person are you? Her. We'll find I'll out right now. if she asks me. Significant risks involved, though. Shortening her life to about another seven years included. What? This is not what we agreed. It's all up to Vivian. It's her choice. Doesn't matter what we agreed. It's Vivian's decision. She can either try it or not. Of course. But I could not live in the knowledge it was I who brought an ill fate down upon her. Heard of one other method that could work. Curse could be lifted via her reflection, say in a pool of water. He almost the key. Thing is, we'd need someone who'd willingly assume the burden of the curse. Take it on in her stead. You mean, become a bird themselves? Theoretically. See, curse grows weaker once it's transferred. Oh no! Might end up as just an appetite for seeds and worms. All outcomes are on the table, though. Death included. I am prepared to sacrifice. Give my life for her. Just as King Friedank's knight did for the beautiful King <laughs> Sero. Knew that already. But are you prepared to swallow bugs for the rest of your life? <laughs> yes. Oh, hesitation. But... Which method do you believe to be best for Vivian? Don't know yet. But you have some notion, have you not? Do not tell me you seriously consider drastically shortening her life when I stand prepared to shoulder the burden. Okay, uh, with the full knowledge that we may reset this quest, I have to know how the water ritual works out. I have to know. I have to know. I have to know. I'm so curious. Uh, I don't know that in this situation I would be making this decision. I think I probably honestly... You guys know this by now, right? Like, uh, you've seen me react to so many of these quests. The Baron, uh, Iris. But, like, I tend to come down in favor of... Uh, honoring a person's wishes harmful as they may self-harmful as they might be when it comes to what information they give out about their about themselves what uh freedom they have to make their own choices uh even if i can potentially see a better way for them even if i wouldn't make the same decision etc that said in this situation i have to i have to test out what happens to guillaume here my mind is spitting with the possibilities. This is a well-written, this is a well-written quest because here's the deal. Just like there were so many options on the last choice that I was given, there's so many options here. Is Guillaume actually in love with her? Or has he convinced himself he is in love with her as knight whatever to Queen Sarah would love, you know, would have done, as knight whatever would have done for Queen Sarah? This is the this is the this is why young love is such an interesting concept like uh storytelling material because just as much as like just as much as I do it but as as older people do it uh but much more young people are so <laughs> young people are right at the moment where they're making their own way and still deciding what stories matter to them and what they are trying to emulate. So is Guillaume actually in love with Vivian and would would happily take this? Let's 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 do the pros and cons, right? Like egg ritual pros. Vivian's wishes, Vivian's like direct wishes are followed. Cons. Vivian lives another seven years. Could be plenty of happiness shoved into that seven years, especially without the fear of being hunted and the birds transformation and etc. Plenty of happiness. A, a good outcome for Vivian, I would say. Cons, we might miss out on the greatest, op like, the, the, the best option might not be there. Um, the best option might be here, where Eom ends up with some small bird-like qualities. Vivian lives a normal lifespan. Uh, potentially, not that it matters, potentially, Vivian hears of the sacrifice, loves Guillaume for it. Potentially never finds out. Um, I highly doubt that. <laughs> the most interesting storytelling perspective is that the consequences follow. The consequences of my actions will follow me, so if I break her wishes, she'll find out. On the other hand, the con here, the worst case scenario of the water method is pretty fucking bad. 
We save Vivian against her wishes, leaving her to feel terrible and and conflicted and and like you know, which could lead to all like Vivian might kill herself in that situation, you know, like from the sheer guilt of inflicting Guillaume with something. Maybe worst case scenario, Guillaume fully transforms into a bird, only gets a year left. Some you know grows a beak, whatever. Um, and Vivian isn't happy in the process. We're gonna try it though. Method using a pool of water is oh. better. Poses no threat to Vivian. Naturally. This is Jeff's kiss. You must know Holy you shit. can count on me. I shall bear it all. But Vivian, I fear she might be too proud to agree to such a thing. We're gonna have to I'll trick meet her. her after the last contest. Talk to her. She could agree. I doubt I'm it. counting on you, Witcher, and I'm content we finally know something. What now? We know all, so you need not see the torture. I just through. realized. You could withdraw. True, I shall get oh, an no. earful from the Herald should you fail to show for the last contest, but it's nothing I can't handle. They, so, uh, what will it be? They're going to make me finish the tourney before we continue on with this quest, which means that I'm sort of committed to this this decision now. Ah, uh, I fall more in love with this quest minute by minute. Holy shit. That's, of course, the right decision. From a game design perspective, right? Sorry, I feel like I'm ranting today. But I cannot stop talking about how incredible this quest is. Uh, raise the stakes of the decision that I just made by putting a set of events in between where, you know, if I, if I make that choice and then I win the tournament, that makes it so much less likely that I'm about to reload or wonder what the other options are, you know? I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till attorney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. This has so far been one of my most favorite episodes of The Witcher 3. I, like, just from a... We started with the incredible conversation with Vivian in the Glade. And I'm so nervous right now for Vivian. And I, I have no idea what to think about Guillaume. Rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Look at these helmets Palmer and the ears. Will eat the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218. When a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only Huzzah. to be driven off by brave knights. Thus, setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his <laughs> team shall play the Barbarian Hatter's men. Any questions? None. The other I part of it is... Do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of my way. Oh, fuck it off, first time, off. gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. The other thing is that the last, the Vivian decision and this fight are both just like rife with like, what is the honorable? What is the A cheer for the knights, knightly the latest, the lords. way to behave? For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. To save two the damsel in distress. Crews, two coteries shall fight. Despite her wishes. Tilt, till one stopped to its knees. Who virtue ignores or lance blows unclean shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins the past champion shall face. All others must leave heads bowed in disgrace. All right, so first off, we're going to save immediately if we can. <laughs> Not gonna let me save. Okay. I mean, Cloud, Rissa, Ruckus, blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in buckets. Okay, so there's our score versus their score. I don't have a shield. The end. This is it. I'm not good for anything over here, huh? Can I? Can I? I can't cast Quinn. Okay. Palmer into Lawnfall. 
It's UV me here. Oh, get out of get out of the way of those pikes. Those those things. Wait, wait, we're two to five? What the fuck? But insights does he weep for those who have gone. This guy's weak as hell on the left. We're gonna try and take this guy down. Oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna have to take this very slowly. Okay, the long like pikes are really a problem. Let's get Baron here. If we can. Okay. This guy doesn't have a shield or anything, so we're chilling. Get that guy down. Get that guy down. Come on. They're actually less. Oh, I was just about to say they're less hard than I thought, but no, they're not. All right. We really have to avoid getting hit at all, just for the delay. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah, all together? No, 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 no. Go one at a time, please. Okay, avoid the Baron. Because he actually seems... He does seem very strong, actually. Okay. God, give me one less person to fight, please. Fucking hell. Avoid the Baron. Kill this guy. No! Oh, get out of there. We're very close to getting into four. Oh, my lord. No! All right. There's one. I've maybe actually taken this a little bit too easy. We're going to do one heal. Okay, fire damage. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No stun, no stun, no stun. Only have one good heal left. What, one white Raffords left. No oh, okay. Shouldn't take that. Not one step. We have the slow heal of water. Which is helpful. This guy's very weak. Two hits. There it is. There it is. All right. Meavy Baron. No, get out of there. Okay. Woo. Meavy Baron. Come on. Get out of here, Prince Horm. What kind of name is Horm? No. No. No heals. Run. Do the nightly thing and run away. By no heals, I mean none of my best. Yeah! Shit. What do Come here. You attack me first. No. No, 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 no. Hit him. I'm, I'm so close. Okay, there it is. Woo! Now we can lock the camera. I'm going to go slow here and let my health regen a little bit. longer this fight goes on, the better chance I have. All right, we've got him now. Easy money. Now we have to kill the other guy. I have no heals for the other guy, though. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. The world's never seen a fight What's going to happen so to Vivian? For showing such verve, each night was victorious. Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rithia, who the strength of lions boasts. He sails through all Oh my god, dude, dude shut up. Ease, but now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who Gorgon, on this last one, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired Tremender, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. By the way, I do think uh, it didn't matter how we did in the horse race. <laughs> I think we would have made it to this final 10 either way, and then I still would have had to be the last one standing. Oh, well. Oh, well. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks. I'm fine. 
the Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name. Though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy, Gregoire de Gorgon, Bogen. victor of Lassie's Tony. What's the Game of Thrones character? The mountain? I wish both combatants good There's... fortune and fame. There's the hound, but then... They sink the crowns, the titans okay. locked stairs, ferocious and spry as God, you're huge. hunting hairs. Okay. We go to attack. We go to attack. What's that? Sorry, our dogs are going crazy. I think uh, must be somebody else at the door today. I love our dogs so much, but the beagle loves to howl. The beagle mix loves to howl. Holy God. Okay. No, no, no. No, no kicks. No kicks. No kicks. My right. White Raffords did get uh, replenished, by the way. Now can I use my... Uh, our sponsor? <laughs> okay. Big slam attack. Uh... We're chilling. Okay, that's down to two thirds. He's big and slow. Show me what you got. Oh yeah. At this point, I'm too confident. Actually, too confident. Actually, too confident. Let's go left now. Oh yeah. Kick you while you're down. Are they gonna let me win this win this quest? Win this uh, battle? Free this year's champion! A sight to behold! Honestly, he defeated the Easiest Gorgon. fight I've had. Hail Geralt! Since switching Hail. to Death March. Geralt! 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 <laughs> this this Herald is incredible. And now a word from our sponsor. As patron of this grand tourney. I've the honor to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon the heron. Doubtless the grand the dress gave his knightly pledge upon the noble matches her bird form. Carried him to this splendid victory. He showed okay. great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's champion of the arena. I swore upon a bird, that's true. To you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. If folk will guard you, the least you should do is wait. Look at the laurels. Look at the laurels. 200 crowns? Plus Geralt of Rivia's sword? Oh, a true knight! A true knight. I did just break your pro uh, the promise that I made you. Uh... Lady Vivian. Oh, now the real test. How do we cure you? In the in the best way. What is the best way? Is it the least harm? Is it honoring your wishes? Greetings, Too late for that? My lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an Oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Oh, no. Sure. Want to tell you something, though. Think we should try the alternate method first. Oh. I was clear. It is out of the question. Let me finish. Second method's less than reliable. To put it simply, might work, might not. But it will. I shall save you, oh lovely Vivian. Why are you here, sir? This is a private conversation. All right, where on the spectrum of incredible to terrible is this gonna go? No need to be sharp, hear him out. No need to be sharp with him, my lady. And if I'm to help you, gotta do one thing for me. 
Hear what Guillaume has to say. Is that an ultimatum? Looks to be. Be not Ooh. angry, my lady. You no longer bear this burden alone. I know all. You told him! I know a curse afflicts you. A curse which grows more severe by the day. I understand how you feel. My aunt, Countess de Lonfall, once contracted a strange illness which ate away at her from the inside. I understand how you feel? She grew weaker by Do the you? day. The light fading from her eyes. I remember her saying the worst was not the pain, but losing mastery of her own body. She was so helpless. Guillaume, well done. I fear you feel the same. The Witcher knows a way to lift the curse from you and let it rest on me. I wish to do this, to take it from you, Vivian. Why? Because I love you. I might have died in the oh. arena. I sought to slay a Shailmar for you. But now I see the fool I was. Now I see how I risked my life for no purpose. Yet with this, Yum. I do something for you. I do not wish to inflict this horror on anyone. You saw how it looks, Witcher. I turn to you as one elder and hopefully one wiser as well. Do you think this a good idea? Well, fuck, I don't know, but... What happens if I say I don't know? Does Vivian say I won't let you do it? Oh, man, I've made it this far. Do I actually say I don't know and then cancel this all? If I say I don't know, it's possible Vivian will make the decision herself and say, let's try it. I don't know that she will, though. I'm going to say worth a try. Worth a try, as I see it. Original curse fell on an unborn child. Doubt it'll take hold as strongly when transferred to a full-grown <laughs> man. Yeah, okay. You've now heard the expert opinion. Let us do this together, Vivian. Very well. I was prepared to die. And so was Guillaume. Thus, I am also prepared to attempt something mad. <sighs> now we must go to my pool in the woods, yes? We must. However, I am not ready yet. I need to call it an episode here. Need to take care of something first. I understand. Come back quickly. I will. I just have to talk to the good people of YouTube real quick. Thanks so much for watching this episode. God, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. How can we be this far into the game and having... That might be my favorite episode yet. That was incredible. We got a good, like, boss fight. I mean, it wasn't that hard, but we got a good boss fight. It wasn't that hard. We had an incredible... We have an incredible quest, uh, both emotionally and like character characterization-wise, and it's beautiful. Vivian as a bird is uh, the bird lady is is incredible art. Um, it's so good. Plus the herald. Oh, it's fun. It's fun. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It. If you did, a like or a tusa in the comments down below helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, shout out to all the people who are always. Uh, who are always writing little comments. I see you. I appreciate you. It means the world to me. Thanks very much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.